been kind of hectic lately. <laughs> I'm actually getting married soon, uh, so I've been planning that and running around at the same time, getting you know back used to this heat that's out here. Uh, I am in Pittsburgh, Indiana, right now, fixing the pickups of steel. And take that down to Houston. about work and you know he'll turn around and bitch about the same thing and we 
just hear each other out, you know? It's uh, some type of time together, even though it's about, you know, mindless stuff that we do on a daily basis, we still do that. Um, because it's important, you know? Uh, it's really nice when you set, have like a set schedule to just call in the morning on the way to work. Like he calls me in the morning on the way to work. Most of the time I'm already up and driving. And that helps out because, you know, I'll have like a little bit left to go. You know, if I'm tarping, if I'm at a, you know, at a place I'm getting loaded at, you know, he leaves me, lets me finish. He just tells me to message him, you know, when I'm done. And I do that. But he, we uh, definitely find the time to talk to each other in between when he's busy at his job, when I'm busy at mine. And it's just, it's just taking that extra time, being thoughtful. Another huge thing um, that I've definitely looked at is being brutally honest about what your significant other needs um, at back home, you know, what we need out here. And yes, everybody's going to preach, you know, I'm not saying that we aren't faithful. Let, let me make that very clear real quick. That's not it. In the very beginning, before we were more serious and stuff like that, we were getting used to being together and the road and stuff, we had very brutal, honest conversations about, you know, if if I was gone for a month, sometimes I'd be gone for two months, we were always like, look, you know, at the end of the day, it's sex, and if that's what you need, then that's what you need, as long as you're safe and stuff like that, but we talked about that for myself, you know, sometimes that's not something that he could have provided at the time if I can't get home, and vice versa, but we were that open with each other, that never came down to the case, uh, about, you know, he needed to go seek somewhere else or something like that, he was fulfilled, I was fulfilled, but we kept that line open, and that communication open in case one or the other was needing something, the relationship that the other could not physically give to the other at the time. And that is okay. That it, I never felt like, if he came to me like that, I would have never felt like I wasn't enough for him. Like, oh, you can't hang on a couple of months for me at a time or whatever. Not saying that sometimes, I mean, you should, you know, you should be able to hang on that long. But the option was open, you know? I never felt like this. Sometimes you just need human interaction. That's what a lot of people in the military, you know, they lose their spouses because they don't have their spouses at home. You know, people need, you know, affection and touch and the presence of your significant other uh, more than a couple of months at a time or, you know, for military people, once a year. You know, it gets really hard. This is a, this is a difficult job to, oh, you know what? That guy was right. I'm looking at it now. I might need to pull up. Is he loading in there? Or are we going to another location? Okay. I'm going to go pull up because I'm not sure. <laughs> he said to wait. I think I had to pull up. I don't want to be that person. Like, there's like six trucks behind me. I don't want to be that person that holds everybody up. if 
you know, you're sitting, you know, you have boundaries though, but like it, it, for us saying it out loud is like, like, it just made it seem, I was like, oh, that's not really what I need, you know? Um, but, uh, we had our boundaries and stuff like that, talking to people of the, you know, of, a, of the opposite sex, um, we just had boundaries, you know, uh, in my line of work, I talk to a lot of guys, you know, uh, I am respectful, I don't want to go anywhere else than just a, you know, a trucker related conversation, I guess, whatever you want to call it, but it, uh, you know, he had his friends, he had, you know, females he had to work with, stuff like that, and, you know, it boils down to trust, and a lot of people, it's very, very hard to have, especially when you're pulling from other relationships that have hurt you. You know, you don't want to pull from that into your current one because that's j definitely going to make shit really difficult, especially when you have to have the trust out here on the road. That's the biggest thing is just you got to trust your spouse, not out fucking with somebody else, you know? Um, the biggest thing for me, and, um, you know, this is a, a, a tip from a female to a guy. Not saying, you know, for somebody in, in the opposite role, for the guys that are, don't know what to do, how to keep their female happy, the biggest, the absolute biggest thing for me was that when I came home, I 100%, like, he always made me a priority over everything, except for his kids, I understood that, that was a whole other thing, um, but if I came in, he dropped his friends, he dropped any activities, you know, and he came and saw me or I came and saw him or we did those activities together. Um, that was a huge, huge thing. I know that seems horrible to like, oh, well, you ask him to just drop everything. No, I never asked him to drop anything. He did that because he made me feel like a priority. And honestly, when it comes down to this job, you have to feel like a priority when you are home because you have such a slight time. So it's not being... Um, what do you call it? Too, uh, not too needy. I'm not, I'm trying to think of the word. It's not too needy, but it's, we're going to go with needy because I can't think of the other word, but it's not too much to ask for. I need you to drop the minor stuff and, you know, be with me when I am home. You know, he knew what he was, you know, he didn't quite know what he was going to do when he got into it with somebody that's a trucker um but you learn and he learned and he realized she's home this much we have to make the very best love of it and that's what we did together a lot of those times was just relaxing because when I got home I was tired as shit I didn't want to do anything <laughs> that was okay with him you know um make sure you find somebody you can have a conversation with um a lot of people get into a relationship and just not really be able to talk to them and you have to be compatible that way uh we have been together for roughly two years you know when we first started we had our back and forth and stuff like that and you know i'll tell you about that in a second but uh we've been together for about two years and you know it's it's been a trial and error thing but we still talk for hours about the same shit <laughs> you know there's nothing wrong with that though uh, there's nothing wrong with talking about the same shit over and over again I'd rather do that with him than somebody new that's more meaningful to me because you know he's my, he's my person and it's hard to find your person out here but it's not hopeless it, it doesn't mean that it's not going to happen for you because you're always gone in this and that. You have to absolutely put yourself, you have to branch yourself up. You have to put yourself in a, in a, in a less comfortable situation as far as like, you know, use the internet to, um, to branch out that way. Because honestly, the internet's going to be your best friend out here. You know it is. You know, you don't have time to go out and meet people like, well, you know, some people still do that, but honestly, you know, I met, I met him off Tinder.
calendar and we're gonna get married and uh, you know I, we neither one of us really intended to you know like that's like a an app where you yeah y'all know but uh, we didn't have that intention and it just kind of worked out the way it did but that was a you just branch out that way you know I've heard a lot oh, like oh I just can't meet anybody or, you know that's worth it pick it you know you have to be you kind of have to be picky uh, if you know right off the bat that homegirl can't you know stick with you can't uh, try to understand that it's stressful out here that you might have to abruptly, you know, hang up the phone if you're in traffic or whatever, but just be super, um, he was looking at me, sorry, just be super supportive, I can't think of words today, super supportive and stuff like that, cut that shit off, there's plenty of people to kind of go through until you find somebody that you really click with, don't just settle be like, oh, she, I mean, she kind of understands. No, get you somebody that understands. You know? Uh, don't waste your time. I've wasted my time so much. And it's just, it's not worth it. When you find somebody that just freaking gets you and doesn't make you feel like shit about working um, under, it's like the biggest thing is just finding somebody that is just understanding. And that takes so much stress off of work and the road, uh, just not having somebody constantly bitch at you when you call them and stuff like that, um, but it's, it's absolutely possible, just put yourself out there, make you a dating app, you know, you're gonna find some really weird people, because there's absolutely weird people on the internet, I can't, I have horror stories of it, you know, but you find, sometimes you find a diamond in the rough, and, and it's, it's really great, and, you know, it, it makes all of this worth it. Of course, I do this for my son. Uh, I always have, but I do it now for him, and I do it now for his two boys. You know, we do this together, and we live comfortably and happy, and that is not unreachable for anybody. You just have to be willing to extend yourself and to know your worth and know that you deserve somebody that treats you right, that understands the situation, and if they don't, they're willing to learn about the situation. And you just, you go from there. We had our hiccups in the very beginning. Um, the biggest thing is he's like, I just don't think that I'm what you need at the time. I was gone a lot, and when I came home, that was when, before we hit, because we, we waited about six months to meet our children, because had been through some stuff and we didn't want to drag the kids to that we weren't 100% certain so we waited about six months for the kids to meet so when I came home of course I wanted to see my son and that meant not seeing him you know I might sneak in a night um, a day before I left or something like that and that's what we go off of once a month or you know twice every two months and it was Just 
lot of y'all be cheating out here. I'm not dumb. Trust me. There's, well, I mean, people do that anyway. It's not just out here. A lot of you girls back at home, they'll cheat. A lot of guys on the road cheat, you know? And, um, as long as you're just honest with each other and you're like, hey, I'm really needing something, you know? You, you can be brutally honest with somebody you just meet. And if they can handle it right then, you know they're going to be able to handle it. really sorry that I've been so quiet lately. Um, I'm, I'm gonna work on it. I've been, uh, I've been struggling with something else lately and I will, I'll probably talk about it because I think, uh, I think it, I think nobody actually talks about it out here about just mental health. And I'm not gone like I used to a lot, and I used to struggle with it hardcore, but uh, I know what that felt like to just be out here and not at home, and you like, you almost lose yourself, um, so I know I've been super distant lately, I haven't put anything up, and I'm, I'm sorry, let me know if y'all want to see the charming video, it's not like nobody really knows, it just, it's just how I do it, you know, especially when somebody doesn't have a whole lot of upper body strength. You know, um, it's just there, but, you know, I appreciate y'all hanging on and, and being patient with me and stuff. Um, just, and if y'all want to let me know what you want to see, just by all means, let me know and it'll give me ideas because, you know, you girl can't, you, you, I can't think of things, you know, obviously I can't even think of words. So I'm just kind of mealing along, trying to get stuff together and, you know, picking up this crap right now. So, 